Howdy y'all. This video coming up needs a little bit of context. I'm going back to the same spot again and doing a little crevicing. I promise it's going to be the last time I go back to this particular spot and show you this. I'm sure you're getting tired of it. But I was always told that there's no gold there and I've, I've probably been down there 20 times panning and you saw me sluicing down there and saw how much gold I got with that in one of my first videos. And to hit pockets the way I've hit in this has just blown my mind. It's just been great. And there's not supposed to be that much gold on this side of the, the river. Um, the other side of the river is where I need to start going more often to find more and better gold. I did finally order me a, a hook and claw, but I couldn't wait for it to come in, so I made a few things, and, and some of it was good, some of it was bad. Some, None of it really worked for the spot I wanted to work it in because it's so tight, but I tried them in other places, and they're okay. They're not too bad. One thing I call the long finger, you'll see at the end of the video, and the other thing is a, a two iron. <laughs> I got mail going out in just a couple days on Monday, if anybody was wondering about that. I do plan to get out and do some more prospecting and find some whole new areas. And I have a few places in my back pocket right now. So stay tuned to this video. I'm going to find some real nice gold for me. And if this video gets 10 likes, I will reveal my real hair color. Howdy, YouTubers. Back here on the creek today, I got a plan. I got some uh, new inventions, new tools to try to use. Hopefully it works out. I'm in the same spot because I left gold sitting here and I ran out of time and ran out of length on my tools to really scratch it out. So I'm going to show you my new stuff. Let's hope it works out. I'm using all the standard basic tools you saw before. I do have my... East wing rock hammers today. They seem like they're going to be helpful. I'll show you the hacksaw again because that's turned out to be one of the most useful things out of this. I modified my hand dredge into more of like a yabby pump. So I'm hoping that's going to work better. I took out the valves. I didn't destroy anything. I can rebuild it. And I just taped it up with some rubber here. And I just tested it out and got the gasket wet. Worked pretty good. Of a flexible scoop. I have a vinegar jug. It's got a handle on it this way. I got some serious hex armor gloves here, cut and puncture proof. And um tested them out and they're pretty serious. And this this thing here spent some time on this. I don't recommend you trying it. It's a golf club. It's a two iron. Don't cut up anybody's golf clubs. Do not do that. You can go to Goodwill or Salvation Army and they got a bucket in the back and they're two bucks a piece. If you want to try it, I recommend a two or three iron. And uh, I don't recommend it, truthfully. It's, uh, it's about impossible. If you have a plasma torch or a cutting torch, yeah, go for it. Uh, nothing with a metal blade would even hardly scratch this stuff. A grinder eventually did it out. For this tight little crevice here with a bend in it, the hacksaw seems to be the best tool. I'm scraping down it, I'm drawing the material in this direction to where it opens up. And I'm spooning it out into my little pan. Alright, that's my first little pan there. There's a a nice piece of gold there and several smaller pieces that's from that uh, deep crack here and I scraped some from the back there and uh, put it in this pan and I got uh, five nice little specks in there I doubt you could ever see them though and some micros so I'm gonna continue on this crack here because I got bigger gold but the back crack did show a little bit of the back crack <laughs> it uh, had some lead in it and looks like I'm not very deep in there yet so there's potential I'm gonna work both holy smokes y'all I got a little further down in that one crack I was pulling out wads of clay and I saw 
Wondering if there's going to be anything in it. Holy smokes. That is a that is an amazing pan. Oh my goodness, we're going to have a good day today. Ah, I can't wait to get into it. So that's the right place to go and I'm going to keep I'm going to keep pulling some of that clay out because uh it's it's loaded. It's also got the uh, these uh, black pieces of looks like charcoal from uh I guess a fire. A little I'll see if I can find some more. hour I was here I was finding so much gold it was amazing the gold didn't run out my tools did I can't get any of that gray clay up which is still in there I have to come up with some even newer tricks to figure out how to get that out I've been hitting some other crevices and cracks it's harder to get the material it's slower going that first hour though was pretty amazing I've been trying different things here and there uh, couple hours have gone by and I haven't really done much anything I got about a tablespoon out of that crack with the gray stuff and there was two nice little flecks and some dust I didn't take pictures of every single pan but most of the good ones yes well, that's it for the day it was a perfect day out here I worked a little too hard and stayed a little too long started scratching in some new places and see what they have to offer and I did find some gold I got my last pan here I'll show you okay we got a couple pellets and one nice little fleck of gold it's telling me I still hadn't cleaned that one spot out good enough I've done about all I can reach though I think I got enough to uh, clean it up and maybe get a little weigh on it might get a 0 .1 0 .15 let's hope it was a really good day Hey everybody, I'm back at the house here. Got the pan station set up nice. Uh, that one pan's got a bunch of bullets and glass and stuff in it I've been panning out. So I got uh, about three gallons here of some overburden type material. Um, I brought this because it was a lot stickier and muddier than the, the top dry stuff. And this bottom bucket is uh, the real clay-like stuff. I'm going to run that through a screen. What is it, girl? Uh, there's a squirrel. They can't get to it. They don't like that. This bucket here, that's just what I wash my socks and shoes out in. And uh, I usually find a little piece of gold in there, truthfully. It's kind of fun. One scoop showing some promise all right but wait there's more so i did order me a hook and claw but it's not supposed to be here till monday and this thing's uh pretty long i left this side open because maybe uh the, that will work for clay but i pounded this flat and uh bent a spoon up put it in a vise and then I pounded on it and slid it in there and hammered it tight and it seemed like it was going to stay so I put a little solder on there just to make sure it don't slip around but I'm going to give this a go it looks nice and thin it's very strong and sturdy so I got to get in there and get this gold it's driving me crazy I couldn't wait five more days for that hook and claw to come so I got to get some gold so that was a super fun week I got to go out and gold pan and crevice and make new tools and try them out and fail and succeed all at the same time. It was wonderful. And I uh, got some pictures and stuff of the gold and the cleanup and a way in. I uh, hope you like it.